At last, the 137 children of the LEA primary and government secondary schools, Kuriga, in Kaduna State, are returning home after they were forcibly taken away from their school by bandits on March the 7th. Before the commencement of the journey home, the Kaduna State Governor Obasani leads senior government officials to bid them goodbye after their release last Sunday. All the children here. Governor Sani assures the children that the kidnap experience will not in any way affect their education. He offers them automatic free education and other incentives for the Kuriga community. What I will say here is that uh, all the 137, like I promised them, they will be my children by the grace of God. And I've already directed Ubasani Foundation. My foundation has been in existence for the past 16 years. And our focus is on education and healthcare. So I'm not using Kaduna State Government money, but I will use Ubasani Foundation to look after their education and I will try as much as possible to support them. The family of the abducted school teacher who died while in captivity is not forgotten. I've already taken the decision collectively uh, to support the family of Malen Abubakar Tamil and Naira. And, uh, so we believe he has uh, very young children, and those children also, Kandosian government, will take care of them and give them scholarships until they finish secondary school or the university. It's almost time to go, but not before one of the children speaks. We thank the government of Kaduna State to collect us from the hand of Amru Bast. <laughs> One after the other, the children get into the waiting vehicles for their journey back home, assisted by Governor Sani and his deputy. <laughs> Accompanied by a heavy security presence, the children head home with the hope never to experience the unfortunate kidnap incident that took them away from their parents and school for 20 days.